Hi guys, so I'm going to do another journal page, um, art journal page. I did do one earlier today um, and videoed it, but the video wasn't very good. It was all blurry, um, so it will probably be giving you a headache to watch it. So unfortunately, um, that one I can't show you, um, but I just used some of my flowers on there. Um, a little bit of corrugated card that I had made those embellishments with. Um, so it was quite a nice one, it was quite a nice background. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another quick one now. Um, I might even sort of like speed this up a little bit because I don't have a huge amount of time now. Um, so I'm going to just do this anyway. So I've got some butterflies, I've got a little saying that says flow with your creative spirit. Um, so I've got some butterflies and I've got some just torn up paper. I've got some um, the brown tones today for the ink um, and I'm going to use a bit of gesso so first of all I'm going to stick some paper down I did actually pop some gesso on here um, to give it some texture um, but I think I might end up covering it all up so let's just see so I'm just going to start off with a little bit, bit of glue nice big brush lots of glue on here so we can stick the paper down like this i'm not going to water it down sometimes i water my gesso down but i think um in this case i'm just gonna um use it as it is and stick some paper on i think it sort of um makes the pages a little bit harder but I do need to get some, I think I said in my last one, some matte medium to use. But I need to go out and get that really, which I haven't been doing. I've been staying at home, which has been really nice. So I'm just going to just stick these bits down. We've all been having a go at um, doing some journal pages because it's very uh, therapeutic. It's really nice just to sort of do some sticking down, really. So let's see how that goes. And of course, it's got bits of paper. I quite like this because that gives up that really nice texture on there. Like that. So when I ink over it, we'll get a or gesso and then ink get that nice texture on there sure I've got some more yes I thought so so this is a good way to use up all your little bits and pieces as well isn't it and your bits of book paper that you've been making other things with torn up papers bit of, um, this is dictionary paper so I found a sheet of, stick that there, a little bit more glue, there we go, so let's stick the other page together. There we go. Right, I'm going to give it a quick blast with my um, heat gun a second. There we go. That's dry enough. It's dry enough anyway to put some gesso on it. So let me pop my lid on my glue so I don't spill it. Let's take some gesso with my little brush. Should have got a bigger brush than this. Never mind. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gesso around don't want to cover up too much of the writing really but that's the thing with art journaling I find that with the ones that I've been watching which are just amazing they put layers and layers and layers over the top of each other so you're covering up um, different things and in the beginning I was like oh no don't cover it all up but um, they make it look so good and they do make it look so easy so hopefully we'll get there at some point so quick dry again 
Right, so now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of ink to here. So I'm just going to put a colour. So I'm just going to drop out some colours on here. So I'm using Vintage Photo, these are all the oxide inks, Frayed Burlap, this one is Wild Honey, oh it's very yellow, and then I'm going to use a bit of the black soot on there as well. Um, and what's this one? I've got this one which is Antique Linen, so let's just see, I might use a little bit of that. So let's get a nicer brush, I was told to use a flat brush but this is my biggest flat brush I've got to hand at the moment. So I'm going to use a bit of water on each one. And see how we go. Okay. Just add a nice bit of colour to everything. So it's sort of like using the watercolours really. It's mixing in with that gesso there I believe. This is the yellow one. Which one was that? Did I say it was? Wild Honey. So that's quite a nice colour, isn't it? There we go. A nice big mess there. Okay, I'm just going to quickly dry this. Here we go. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black onto here. Well, this is the black soot, but it sort of comes out um, a grey colour, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get those little jewelry bits that they do. I don't think I've got enough water, so I might spray it. It's just... Okay, let me get a little bit of tissue here. I'm just going to sort of dab a little bit of it wet off, yeah, like that. Now, this ink here, I'm going to keep that on a napkin. I want to show you actually here from my last watercolour project. This is what I soaked up the ink with. And doesn't that look gorgeous? So I'm going to have to use that in one of my projects. I've actually got two because it was double layered. So I thought that looked really pretty. So it's like a real watercolour paper, isn't it? So I'm going to do that with the colours that I've used there. Okay, so I think it might need a tiny bit more drying. Perfect. Now I'm going to take my, oops, the black oxide. I'm going to just use it as like a paint brush or paint. Just do a little bit here. Just to make that line a little bit darker.
I think if I wasn't videoing, I would probably um, just leave that to dry naturally. Because sometimes when you put too much heat on there, it actually bubbles up your glue underneath and I don't want that to happen. So there we go. Let's see. So flow with your creative spirit. Actually, it goes quite well with that, doesn't it? Right, I'm actually going to add a little bit more gesso to this. Um, I want to see if I can just pick up some of that texture on there. We've got... Down here. Paper's gone a bit bumpy on there underneath, but it's glued. It looks really nice. And the gesso just sort of like picks up that texture over the top. Very different to the last page. Okay, another quick blast. Sorry about this. Okay, that seems pretty dry. So I'm going to pop this on here. So let's get what should we have? We have a little bit of glue stick, I think, on here. So it's all stuck down. Hopefully, it will stick down well. Don't want it to get too wet because is that straight? It's printed on my printer and I've got inkjet printer so I don't want it to run. And then I've got a couple of little butterflies here, look. Which one might look quite nice on here. I just love butterflies. And they're sort of a nice muted sort of colour, these ones. <coughs> So they go really well um, with the colour of the page. I'm going to try and invest in a few more stencils and little bits as we go along. Um, so um, we can have lots of different sort of textures or I might even have a go at making my own. So I'll try and see if I can come up with something that we can use. Oops. I think I'd probably have butterflies on every page if I could, because I just love them. Butterflies and flowers. Very sort of pretty and sort of girly, isn't it? There we go. Let me just get this sticky off my fingers. Let's hope that they've stuck down. I normally use this part of my hand because I know it's not sticky. Um, and it doesn't stick everywhere. There we go. Okay, so let's use a little bit. I think I've soaked up that. So look at that. That's the ink. So that's, wow, that looks nice, doesn't it? So that's the ink. So I can leave that to dry. I'm going to get a little bit of leftover where the black has been. Just go around the edge of this. Just the wording like Oops. Oh, 
looks quite nice, doesn't it? I'm going to do a little bit around the butterflies. I don't want them to look too dirty if I get it on there. This is where I need one of those nice pens, little charcoal pen, pencil or something. Instead, I'm just making it look a bit messy. I'm good at making things look messy, aren't I, at the moment? But practice. And the right tools I think we need. Nice. Take my finger in the gesso again and just put a little bit. Okay, I think that's about it really, before I go too far. I think that's quite a nice, sort of quick one. A little bit messy, but it's not too bad. And it's got butterflies on it. So there we go. There we go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm sorry it was a bit quick. Um, but there again, that's the one that I did before. Oops, oh, it's not... The one that I used my flowers with, um, and that's the one. So two completely different today, um, but I think that looks quite nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, um, and I will see you next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.